Oswego's fire chief says he was involuntarily dismissed today by the city manager. Now, the chief claims that it's because he won't support what he calls a plan to close a local fire station. Our Amy Frazier has been following this story. She's live outside of Lake Oswego City Hall. Amy? Dozens of firefighters packed the city council meeting here today. The union president spoke during the public comment period, saying he has got some big concerns. The city manager confirmed starting next month, former police chief Don Johnson will become Lake Oswego's fire chief. In a letter today, two firefighters, current fire chief Larry Goff, who's been with the department for 36 years, says he was involuntarily dismissed by the city manager saying it's because he would not support his plan to close South Shore Fire Station. That station serves the south side of Lake Oswego, including Lake Ridge High School. If that were to happen, the firefighters union says Lake Oswego would go from four fire stations to three, and they say the total number of firefighters working daily in Lake Oswego would drop from 13 to 10. Union members say closing a fire station would increase response times. Minutes count. Have a stroke and don't have people there to take care of someone. Have a house fire or a commercial fire where fire propagation curves tell us the size of that fire doubles every minute. We can't afford to do less. Now, City Manager Scott Lazenby says in late October, the City Council requested that city staff look at ways to keep costs down within the fire department. He also says no options have been discussed or presented to the City Council. He says the fire chief submitted his formal notice to retire back in September and then withdrew that notice. The City Manager says he still felt it was a good opportunity for new leadership and decided to move forward. Forward with the new chief. We'll keep you posted as we continue to learn more. Reporting live in Lake Oswego, Amy Fraser, Coin Six News. All right, Amy, keep us posted.